What's up everybody? Today we're gonna do some Jug Zone Blitz. Let's go man. I haven't done Jug Zone in a while. Jug Zone actually like, the reason that Jug Zone is a reasonable combo is that the Juggernaut doesn't kill the Zone Troopers. Like a lot of the problems with Juggernaut is it blows up the units you have guarding it. Uh, the options to get around this are either to use air in front of your Juggernaut or zones. Zones survive the Juggernaut and then heal back up. So they can protect the Juggernaut from air whilst also, like, you know, they can heal back up after they get bombed. Um, you can also do, like, hammerheads, but then you're, like, just weak to something getting close. Will you say Jug Jug a lot while playing Jug Jug? I can certainly attempt to say Jug Jug a lot. I, yeah, I feel like I'd say Jugger Jugger a lot more than Jug Jug, but... It could be like peons saying work work. Jug Jug. I could do that. I should probably double half, although... Maybe not right away. Mm, my opponent has a Rhino, exciting. I'm gonna make two Harvesters. My opponent has level 8 units. I feel like we can probably win with tech units. He trying to stall? Feels like he's trying to stall. But I can't tell if it's like accidental or intentional. Oh, that is not a good strong arm turret. Can we go first missile jugger jug? Juggly wuggly. I don't think I've ever said juggly wuggly before. Unit ready. Building online. Oh yeah, this is gonna be an early jug. Now he has an MLRS, which ironically is pretty good against Juggernaut. You think it would be not great because it's two range, but actually, actually, uh, you, well, he hasn't got boost. But if you boost an MLRS, you can uh, you can rush a Juggernaut. Get him, Juggernaut. Ah, Jugger. Jug King Prime. So yeah, here we're going to show off the Zone Trooper surviving the Juggernaut. There you see, your Zone Trooper doesn't die to the Juggernaut, and then it heals back up. That's the Wombo Combo! <laughs> Alright, here we go. What's even in my deck? Oh, it's Sniper deck, sure, makes sense. Mm, opponent goes blind double half. What is the play here? Juggernaut zone is really unlikely to beat other tech units, but we're not here to not make Juggernaut zone, so I guess we're going to Harvester. Uh, if you go to Harvester on this map, it doesn't matter where you put them actually. Because once you clear two tiles of Tiberium, one of your Harvesters is going to have to make the journey anyway. So there isn't really that much upside. Like, obviously, if you only have one harvester, then losing, putting it down with with the three tid patches, is really good because you don't have to journey across the map when you empty the tid patch. But with two harvesters, when you empty two, one of them's gonna have to travel across the map anyway. Opponent is playing MGs. I'm tempted to let him set up some MGs so I can blow them up with juggernauts because you know watching MG die is very satisfying. But then I would have to also, like, we know he's going to make tech units. So, you know, if I let him set up the MGs and then win the missile, then things can get really awkward. We're going to make a zone trooper first. And then it's going to be jug time. I might try and jug the base. I don't know how many times I've jugged a base before. Well, that feels like a thing I haven't done a lot of. I have no earthly idea if my zones will beat this Wolverine. I would assume yes. But I don't actually know for sure. Let's go, j -Nor. You can do it. Yeah, j -Nor. Don't 
No, I hope he hasn't got this raptor. Oh shit, look at this boost on the Wolverine. Yeah, this guy this guy knows what's up. Holy shit. Oh, he's got a Titan. Uh oh. That's actually really bad. That's actually really bad. This is the kind of thing I was worried about when I was saying I don't know if Juggernaut can win against his tech units. I think I did not do that well. I could have microed that better. I'm going to try and Juggernaut the base later. Because right now I just like to win this game before I die to Titans. Let's go Pitbull, you can do it. Ooh, let's go! A <laughs> juggly woggly announcement. Objective complete. Alright, let's try and juggernaut the base this time. I know I said that last time, but then things got a little squiffy and I got scared and I just killed him. So let's try, let's see this time if we can do it. I don't want to charge, but I also don't want to fight this laser. Always the conundrum. Hey, Dice added me to his friends list. Quite exciting. That's an easy no from me. Easy block. <laughs> uh. Oh shit, Chuggy. I would rather not, if that's alright with you. I'm happy just to camp on one pad with the snipers because I want to get to my tech units. Uh oh, that is fewer good for me. Much fewer good. Oh, this is really very, very not good. Here we go! You can do it, Boosty Pitbull! Oh, Boosty Pitbull! Let's go! Boosty P! Boosty P! <laughs> Boosty P is actually a slightly different video to the one I'm making right now. You can uh, subscribe to my OnlyFans for Boosty P. <laughs> Yo, if Giga Cannon beats Zone, I quit Rivals Forever. All right, cool. Mission accomplished. Three, two. Rinard is top donor. I can only, I can only imagine dice that the top donor would be Alipart in that scenario. Just like in every other scenario. Swagmaster. Yo, I like the name Swagmaster. I should change my name on Rivals to Swagmaster. I think I can change my name on Snap. That's like a thing you can just do, right? For no cost. Maybe there's a small cost. I'm not really sure. But I think I should change my name to Swagmaster. Maybe I should have gone double half here instead of uh, Barracks. Oh, the fucking Shatterer. Unit ready. I feel like a juggernaut might be able to beat up on a GDI fortress, but I'm not certain on that one. This is not a great map for GDI Fortress, so, you know, I do have that going for me. Come on, live, people, live! Nice. If I just go straight Jugger Jugger, I think I'm gonna go straight Jugger Jugger. I wanna find out how it goes. I assume it'll... Oh, he has an Iron Cannon, though. Hmm. 
That does make the juggernaut sound a lot worse. Oh well, I'm still doing it. No fear. He did, in fact, just iron cannon. That's upsetting. Suppose I should have gone zones instead. Sadness. Do I just make another juggernaut because now he's on cooldown? No, I'm just gonna make the zones. Fucking iron cannon, man. Solomon is actually cheap. Does have the MSV as well. Bro, how do you have Solomon again? Oh, he's double half. He's. So he's just gonna Solomon every cooldown? Theoretically, it's like slightly unfavored for him, right? My units are 120 and the Iron Cannon's 130. So technically, it feels like he shouldn't be able to Iron Cannon every single tech unit I make. Yeah, get out of my game, bro. Why are you even still here, bro? Oh, snap! <laughs> amazing. Actually amazing. Alright, this is the game where we juggernaut base kill. This is the one. Holy crap, that zone just fucking clapped that shatter up. No, it's ne never a chance. Never, never, not in a million years was that ever gonna dodge an iron cannon. Jade out. Let's go, Jugger Jugger. Even against Solomon Cheat. You are victorious. Three, two, um, one. Hmm. It is a hybrid real time turn based tactical RPG coach. Building online. Oh shit. The, the bike rush. Unit ready. I don't think this Pitbull is going to save. Why did the buggy change target? That doesn't make any sense. The buggy should continue to attack the Harvester. Because it actually does pretty good damage. By not attacking the Harvester, he's actually screwed up pretty badly there. Sounds like my kind of shit. Yeah, I mean, that's why I, when I saw it, I was like, this looks like my kind of shit. I'm hoping I can use the dogs to block off incoming bikes. And then have both my pit bulls attack his harvester. Nope. He just spawned new ones immediately. Sadness. I like that he went for my harvester though. That's like this man gets it. He's like, yeah, 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 you're killing my half. But what if I kill your half? Like half kills win games. So even if you kill my half, it doesn't matter if I kill your half. Because then I'll just win because I killed a half. He hasn't really fought the logic through entirely. But like the you know, the start is there. He's like, kill half, win game. Okay, that checks out. Lose half, lose game is not a factor. Like, kill half, win game is the only thing that matters. Oh, being able to only have free combat units is really something. <coughs> I really need to lose some units here so I can make zone troopers. Jugger, jugger. The J now. Come on, man. Jade is also cheat. So many cheats today. Oh shit, the game's almost over. I just noticed. That was close. Oh, I actually think I lost. No! 
Jade is cheat. Jade is cheat. Confirmed. Our base has been destroyed. this missile myself. All right, well, there you go, guys. Juggernaut zone. <laughs> 6.9 thousand credits. That's why I conceded the last game there. I didn't want to win it because I, uh, I wanted to make sure I got 69, 6,900 credits. All right, well, I hope everyone enjoyed that, and I will see you next time.